So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and make a gaming logo utilizing a tool called Adobe Express. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So you're gonna to come to adobe.com forward slash express. I'll put a link in the description for you to be able to go ahead and follow along. So once you land on this site, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and create your free account. You can see here, get Adobe Express free, no credit card required. You're gonna be able to do this without any issues. Now they do have a paid plan. If you're gonna to want to do extra things, I use this to do all my social media, to schedule all my content. That is the main thing that I love about the paid plan is that you can schedule your content and have access to a whole bunch of graphics for gaming thumbnails and, and so much more. But either way, once you create your account, you're gonna wanna come and select logo. Once you select logo, it's gonna bring you here to Adobe's Express Logo Maker. Now it's gonna say here, tell us about your logo. You're gonna say my, you're gonna put gaming business, is called this is where you're going to put the name of your stream the name of your content i'm just going to go ahead and put last curry for the time being and my slogan is this is where you put your tagline what you're known for i'm always going to put we all can thrive then you're going to simply hit next now this is going to give you an option to choose between a few different styles you got bold elegant modern and decorative you can go for bold or modern. Those are two of my favorites. I'm gonna go for modern, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select next. Now this is gonna go ahead and give you a lot of icon options you can go ahead and select from. If you like the list that's here, you can select from that. I typically like to have a mascot, so I'm gonna type in mascot and hit enter. And now you're gonna see here that you're gonna have a lot of options to be able to choose from. You can choose a lion. So I really like this icon here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select next and that's gonna go ahead and begin design. Now this is gonna give you a lot of options to be able to go ahead and choose from. So you're gonna see here, you're gonna see different variations. You're gonna see some with the icon, some without. So you're able to go ahead and see which one really hits your liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and like, I like this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit customize. Now you're gonna see here, it's gonna say nice choice, continue customize or download your logo right now. Now you can see how fast we were able to create this, but let's go ahead and customize a little bit. But you can kind of get an idea of what this is gonna look like on the mobile app, on your social media, on a t-shirt, on a website. You can really see what this is gonna look like. So right here, we have some few options that we can make some quick adjustments, uh, not too much customizations, but I'll show you here in just a few moments. So you can select color, it's gonna change the color. Really like that there, but you can keep going through these color options just by selecting it to be able to see. Of course, I had to go with the orange and blue, golden state, love curry. So then we say we all can thrive, right? So now you have the option to also change the font if you want to. So you can change the font by just select selecting and just seeing, I'm looking for something a little bit more bold. Uh, so let's see here. So perfect, you can just keep scrolling through this until you find a font that you like. Okay, I really like that there. Now let's say that you wanna go a little bit deeper and you wanna customize it. You see an option here at the bottom that's gonna say customize more. So once you click that, that's gonna go ahead and bring us into the Adobe Express editor, right? So you'll hit continue. And this is the thing that I love about Adobe Express. You're able to now start customizing, adding different graphics. And again, I utilize Adobe Express to do a lot of my social media and a lot of my thumbnails as well. And it's a great tool to be able to utilize um, here. So now you're gonna see here on the right-hand side, it's gonna see a number five that's gonna show you all the different elements that are inside the logo. So let's say we wanna go ahead and start by changing this uh, bear from being blue to being white, right? So you can just grab this and change it, or you can make it black, right? So I'll go with the black. Now you'll see here on the right, we can go ahead and change the circle. Let's go ahead and make the circle black as well. So you see here starting to go ahead and give me the customizations that I want as well. I'll click on the We All Can Thrive. I'll select here and now you'll see here at the bottom, I can change the color. And then here at the bottom, you're gonna see some font recommendations. So I really like the way this looks, like this one here. And now you can change it to that. So we'll come back, we'll change the curry. Again, we can update the logo. So you can start to see how I'm able to go ahead and start customizing and making a custom gaming logo for myself. Now I can go ahead and do the same for the last curry, I can change it back. And now if you made a mistake and you're like, oh, I don't want that design, you can come up here to the top and hit undo until you can get back to where you were before. So I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna go with the black. Now here on the circle, I wanna make the circle just a little bit smaller and, and move this around. So you can see here that I can grab this. It's gonna instantly tell me what a center. I'm gonna click on the last curry. Again, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. 
and then on the weekend thrive i'm going to click it and bring it up again as well and then if i wanted to i could change the background simply by clicking here on the background coming here and changing the background and now i can decide on a different color if i want to go red I can go really red if i want to go ahead and go back to a blue or a red or i can go to like a, a yellow so we can kind of keep it there right so this is going to be your logo design now you can go ahead and add additional things if you wanted to right so let's say i want to change the background maybe i don't like that background there i can come here to the left side and adobe's going to give you access to over 2,000 images and graphics you're able to utilize and if you go on the paid plan you get even access to more right so I'm gonna come here and anytime you see anything with a crown, that's gonna let you know that that's gonna be on their paid plan that's $9.99 a month. Um, otherwise, if it doesn't have the little crown, it's completely free to be able to utilize. So we can come here and let's say I wanna use this background, right? So I can grab that and you can see here now, I can utilize that background that I just grabbed to give that a look. So now we can go and say, okay, I really like that one. So now I wanna change this color to be white. Why? Because the white's probably gonna look a little bit better when I'm actually doing this. So just when you're there, you can go ahead and change things and you can make adjustments to these colors. So I'll go white again. And then on the circle, I can go ahead and go white as well. And you can see here now that I have the actual logo. So now what you want to do is you want to come here to the right top right side. You want to select download and you want to download it as a PNG. And again, you'll see here you'll be able to schedule your content social media again. That's on the paid plan. If you want to go ahead and schedule your content, I've made a video on that before. Um, but now you just simply want to go ahead and sit, start download. It's going to immediately go ahead and download completely for free for you. You'll see here that you'll be able to download it. And now what you can do is that you can go ahead and come over to Twitch or to any social media platform and be able to go ahead and upload it. So I'll go ahead and upload this here. And then you're going to we're going to see here that now my logo has been downloaded. And you can see here that now I have Last Curry, we all can thrive, and I just made a logo in just a few minutes. Now, if you wanna learn how to be able to go ahead and utilize the same tool that we just did to make a logo, to be able to go ahead and make a banner for your Twitch or a professional profile picture, go ahead and watch this video right here on the screen where I walk you step-by-step step on creating that. I'll see you guys in the next video.